What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and we're here today uh, to do a couple of things. Today is the official launch of Black Desert Online and I'm just going to have a couple of intro tutorial things to show you guys that uh, you should know before starting Black Desert Online on console. Uh, this won't be anything too in-depth like the crafting um, or anything like that. Those will be later videos once I personally figure this out. I'm still new to Black Desert uh, so I'm going to give some tips that I wish that I knew before I got into this. So, I'm level 40. Obviously, you won't be this far when you start, but uh, I can still show some of the general things, and uh, so let's hop into it. So, first of all, here are all of the different options. First, if you got a version higher than the standard, you're going to want to go to your mail as soon as you it will allow you to get into it. So, I actually have a gift here to claim. You can hit X to receive them all or A to read them individually. It'll tell you exactly what they are and then you'll have the option to claim them. So today's stream saw a lot of people join in. This was this is from one of the um, admins. They're giving us five aliens tiers. So you'll hit receive, okay? And then you can select how many you want. Obviously I want them all. I'm not in a safe zone so I can't actually receive it now, but you'll receive it and it'll hop into your inventory. So if you go into your inventory here, You'll think it'll show up here because this is your inventory. You would think it would show up within your inventory, but it does not. There's a button here. You're going to want to hit right bumper. And if you hit right bumper, it'll take you over to your pearl inventory. And that's where it'll show up. Uh, there, I have an Elian's tier already, but that's where all of your pre-ordered, purchased, um, all of your outfits when you buy pearls. Um, if you buy pearls, you'll claim them out of the mail. And then when you claim them out of the mail, they'll go into your pearl inventory. You'll have to open them up, and then they'll show up right above uh, in the pearl thing. As you can see, there's the, the money I have, and then pearls, and then loyalty. So there's stuff that you can pick up here. This is also where anything you buy out of the pearl shop, so any of, let's see. So if we buy a value pack or something along that lines, that's where this will show up as well. It'll all show up in here, like dog, like food for your pets uh, and stuff like that. So I'll show you real quick. I'll buy a little bit more pet food. I have plenty of money. So let's go to pets, pet supplies. We'll buy 30 nutritious feeds. We'll purchase two of these. And you can see, bought those. And we go back into our inventory. And now we have 80 nutritious feeds. So these are where all of the mount outfits, uh, wagon uh, skins, all of that different stuff is here. Um, there's the value packs and uh, the books of combat, all of that different stuff. That all shows up in this section. Over here is the mount inventory. This is pretty much um, what's on your mount or what's on, what's on you. Uh, it's the same exact inventory slots as your inventory there's pearl inventory slots which you tend to have a few more of those uh, and then there's regular inventory slots uh, it gets a little bit a little bit confusing but uh, that's how that's how that works so also this is one I don't think it's too big of a tip that you need but uh, if you have a better armor piece here it will have that's what that arrow means uh, any armor piece that's better it will let you know that uh, you have better equipable pieces of armor uh, also inventory management if you hold down a and you move things around you can move them around anywhere i have my inventory organized as so these are kind of permanent stuff crafting material or not crafting materials but upgrade materials uh scrolls stuff like that's down here this is like my food and stuff that goes there this is kind of miscellaneous potions uh, sellable items that aren't sellable to merchants where I have to actually take them somewhere to sell them. That's what these are. And then this is all the stuff that I'm going to sell. Moving on, we're going to hop into the profile and take a look at this. So you'll want to take a look at this from time to time. Um, if you see right under my picture, you can see karma as well as energy and contribution points. Energy and contribution points are important for... Um, nodes and connecting nodes creating trade routes all of different all of that different stuff I haven't delved too much into that um, I'm gonna be honest, but I can show you if we go to the world map here 
I have connected some nodes. It's useful for this type of stuff down here. So you can see I have this all connected here. Um, still need to do a little bit more connecting, but all of this area is starting to get connected. Um, so as you can see here, I'll do it right now. You can invest contribution points and it will connect the next area. So it connects uh, Delphi Knight's Castle to Delphi Outpost. And you can continue as far as you want. You can invest energy, but um, pretty much that that's it. You just kind of follow this along and you can connect. But you want to keep an eye on that. You want to spend your energy because you earn it. I believe it's every 30 minutes you're idle within game, you get 30 or you get one point of energy. Um, and I believe if you're active, you gain it at a faster rate. Back in the profile, you can also see your abilities and your fitness, your strength, health, and breath. Uh, fitness, your abilities, casting speed, movement speed, critical hit, fishing, gathering, and luck. Um, you can also see your basic health, your weight, your mana. You can also check your weight uh, in the inventory. As you can see, let me move this over. On the side of the inventory tab that we have up right there, that lets you know exactly how much weight you have uh, towards your threshold. 703 is my weight limit. I'm at 532. Uh, so that's also something you want to keep an eye on because if you get overweight, it's it's tragic. Uh, you can see your battle stats, your attack points, and your defense points, stamina, skill points you currently have, opposed to how many you've earned in your playtime. I have played, or I have earned 229, I've used 179. We'll get into skills. Uh, you can also see your resistances. Titles, I haven't equipped one of these yet, but this is where you'll find them. So we'll click, we'll, we'll apply good communicator. It just pops it above your name. You can see good communicator, family name, name. Um... I haven't messed around too much with the titles. Can I unselect? Okay, I guess I guess I'm stuck with that title now. Good communicator. Uh, okay. Here are the challenges. You're gonna want to pay attention to these. These are the goals. These are goals per one per account. It's not one per character. It's one per account. So make sure if you have a main account that you, like the sorceress is my main, but I also have a witch account. You're going to want to. Keep that in mind when you're claiming your rewards. Uh, there's all certain th all sorts of certain things here uh, to unlock. The main ones are the level ones. They're the bigger deal because they give you gold bars. They give you all sorts of upgrade materials and uh, different stuff like that. So you're going to keep an eye on those. These are time. So once you play this game for seven days, you'll earn loyalty and so on and so forth for all the days. Uh, character play time accumulated 50 hours, 100 hours, 200, 500, 1,000. And so there's all of those. These are event challenges. We don't have any events yet, but they'll show up here. These are all the ones that you have completed. And these are, and then reward is where you claim them. So we're going to go ahead and claim my level 40 pack here. Um, you'll see the basic. So everybody who completes level 40 will get these five items. And then you will get your choice to select one. Hitting X will show you the details. Um, so this is a magical crystal of nature swiftness. This is for your boots. This is crystal of the sun assault. This is for your uh, gauntlets or gloves. This is crystals of the sun valor. This is also for your gauntlets and gloves. And this is crystal of enchantment memory. This is for your um, helmet. So I don't have casting speed, so I don't need that. Critical hit plus one, attack speed plus one, and movement speed plus one. I'm gonna have to go ahead and take the attack speed plus one. So you'll hit A, and as you can see, now it's highlighted the one that I wanted. Um, now you'll go ahead and hit claim. If you do not select one, it'll tell you you need to select one before it'll allow you to claim. You go ahead and hit claim, and it'll claim your items. If you hit down on the D-pad, It'll bring out the Black Spirit. Um, you can chat. You can look at all the quests that are stuck with him, that you're doing with the Black Spirit. This is where you can enchant um, your items. Uh, this is where you use the Black Stones and all that. You can also transfusion. This is where you socket your gear. Um, so let's see. Is this armor? Yeah, okay. So you can see it can be transfused uh, with a socket. So... If I wanted to put something in there, I could. Item reform. This is where you um, put in a gear item and a reform stone. Higher stone level, obviously. The higher chance to get a superior gear. Um, I don't think I have a reform item. But this is more end game stuff. You're not going to need to mess with that early on in the 
game. Moving on, another quick shortcut that you're going to want to do, instead of hit, I still do this because I don't think about it, but if you can get out of the habit uh, of hitting start and then having to go down to quest, you can actually hold down left trigger and down, and it'll pull up the, the quest screen. Much easier, just left trigger quickly, down, pulls up your quest screen. Um, you'll see me in my videos not do that because I'm an idiot, um, but yeah, there's that. Also, for the world chat, I made a separate video on this, but I'll mention it again in here just in case someone does not know. It's a left trigger, right on the D-pad, right on the right stick. You don't have to hold it down, I just do because it's quicker. But as you can see, once you pull it up, you don't have to. Flick it on and off uh, if that bothers you. Another thing also that I made a video on, but I'll show you real quick, is to go into here. This is where you hotkey stuff. So as you can see, right above me, you'll see it's pointing right on the D-pad. That means that's the hot selected item for the D-pad. If you put another item on there, so let's just go ahead and equip this to the D-pad. As you can see now, my bottom hot bar, if I hit this, I have my selection of healing items. If you want it to just be able to heal immediately, you don't want an item on there. So now I can just push right on the D-pad and it will heal me up. Um, you can also do this for important items. So right trigger in here lets you select what you're looking at. So you can see all the different D-pad options um, that I'm cycling through right now. So this is the one that I was changing. This is the only one that I've really changed, and it was to put on my horse flute, the, 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 the what am I trying to say? The uh, horse flute permanent um, that I have so that I can call my mount to me uh, from farther distances. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to take a look at is the pet screen. Um, most of us have a pet if you're playing this early. You're going to keep an eye on the percentage for food. Also, feeding your pet is how you level them up. So we'll go ahead and hit X here, and we'll go ahead and feed them to full. To, to full. So you can see they're all level full here now. They leveled up, and it will tell you all these skills that you have gotten from them. So I'm going to hop back into the profile real quick. I know we skipping around here. This is a more detailed look at the life skills. It'll tell you all the different things you've done and how close you are to actually leveling them up. Quest settings. Um, so this is how you set your preference type based on how you've set it up. Uh, I haven't delve too much into this. This is pretty much default. Uh, but this is the one you're going to want to take a look at. This is your buff lists, lists. Buff lists. It shows you the different buffs and items you have active that are over a large period of time. Um, so I have the blessing. I have the value pack active. Palette and appearance coupons. Um, those are all to change dies infinitely and appearance infinitely for 90 days uh, of when I use them. Uh, the next thing we'll hop into here is the skills options. You'll want to take a look at the attendance reward. I'll talk about this real quick. You'll want to take a look at this once they start doing attendance rewards. We don't have them right now, so I can't really get into them. But you'll you'll want to take a you'll want to take a peek at that every day. Just click on it once, see if it says anything pops up that's not there is no attendance thing active yet, um, because eventually that will come up and you'll want to take a look at it. So. Skills. This is one thing you want to take a look at. It's a little overwhelming, so I suggest you do some research about how you want to play your character and how you want to um, invest your skill points into different things here. Obviously, I am not quite sure what I am doing yet with my character. So what I've been doing, because I know I won't regret them, is taking passives. Like Dark Armor gives me one melee DP up, so we're going to take that skill. Here's, another, here's Dark Armor level 8. It takes range defensive points up. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that as well. They're pretty cheap as well. Uh, as you can see, right next to me, if you look, oops, wrong way. If you look over there, look over there, right where my finger's pointing, you can see required skill level as well as skill points uh, to upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade this one real quick. This is evasion percentage. Uh, one cool thing you can also do when you're looking through here is if you believe, let's see, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's see, none of these have... I gotta find it. Okay, hold on. Let me go to the main skills. So here, if I go down here, it'll tell you if you hit... Let me go down to my passives. Okay, so dark armor, we have the dark armor level 8. Your required skill level was 39. 
If you hit over, it'll tell you the next one. And so it's plus one to magic defensive points at level 43. And you can take a look and see. So dark armor level 10 is the highest. And you need to be level 47 to get it all the way there. So that's a cool thing that I found. But yeah, my suggestion, just go through, do a little research, read all of the descriptions, yeah. take a look at how all of this works, and find what? out what suits your play style the best. I probably wouldn't shield that much, so like Shield of Darkness wouldn't mean a whole lot to me. Um, but yeah, I'm still personally working on what I want to do for this, so I'll find out here soon and start invest investing in skill points. But it's always a good idea to take a look in there and at least grab yourself the passives. The passives tend to be a pretty good... Um, a pretty good item to or not an item pretty good skill to take care of uh, but I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this intro guide those are just things that I wish I knew uh, when I was uh, getting started in here check out my other tips and tricks if there's anything else you want to know about um, there's plenty of other things that I'm gonna be putting out so make sure and check back on the channel um, as I learn new things that I think uh, people would like to know on console because Obviously, we have a lot of new people, including myself, that have never played Black Desert before. Trying Black Desert for the very first time, I think, um, you know, I can explain, I, I want to try to explain it best to you guys from the perspective of someone who's never, you know, never played Black Desert before. So when I learn something new that is new to me, I want to try to teach you guys um, so that you guys can learn as well. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.